apex predators. Bobcats, alligator snapping turtles, muscalunges, red-tailed hawks, and humans are examples of apex predators. An apex predator is also known as a top predator or an alpha predator. There are apex predators in water and on land. What defines an apex predator? These species are at the top of the food chain. For example, a simple food chain would look like this one. The sun provides energy that is used by plants to make their food grow and reproduce. A deer mouse may eat the seeds of some of these plants. A red-tailed hawk may see the deer mouse, capture it, and eat it. This food chain ends here. It relates the transfer of energy from the sun through the chain to the apex predator. Apex predators prey upon other species, but nothing regularly feeds on them in their adult form. A species does not need to be a carnivore to be a top predator. Humans are top predators as well as omnivores, eating a variety of food types. Turkey vultures are considered to be scavengers. While nothing preys upon them as adults, they do not hunt and capture other animals to eat. They feed mainly on dead organisms. When the red-tailed hawk dies, a turkey vulture may eat it, and some of the energy that is stored in the hawk is transferred to it. The turkey vulture did not cause the hawk's death, however. It found the hawk after it had already died. Apex predators are important in ecology. They help to keep populations of their prey species under control and maintain an ecological balance in an area. Without apex predators, populations of their prey items can increase rapidly and cause ecological problems. Apex predators and their prey species have developed together over time into relationships that are valuable for populations of both groups. Non-native species that invade an area can upset the balance between predator and prey. Apex predators are all around us and include us. Some apex predators have been making the news in Illinois lately, and we want to discuss these three species too. The American black bear, cougar, and wolf were native inhabitants of Illinois until the 1800s. As a result of bounty hunting, habitat loss and degradation, and no conservation laws, these species were extirpated from Illinois, although populations survive in other parts of North America. The wolf is listed as a threatened species in Illinois and a federally endangered species. Cougars are a protected species in much of the Midwest. Black bear populations are strong enough to allow for a limited hunting season in Wisconsin. Due to legal protections and habitat restoration, the population of these three species has begun to recover and individuals are spreading to other parts of the country. In recent years, verified sightings of all of these species have occurred in the state. Where are these animals coming from? It is believed that bears travel from Missouri and Wisconsin to Illinois. Wolves come from Wisconsin. And cougars are traveling from western South Dakota. Most of them are young individuals that are seeking a place to live. As of January 1, 2015, the Illinois Department of Natural Resources was given the authority to manage these three species for the protection of wildlife and public safety. While not encouraging the return of these species, the IDNR recognizes that planning toward that end should occur now. Although it is possible that populations could be established in the state, there is relatively little suitable habitat remaining for these species to live in. Only about 14.7% of Illinois is suitable habitat for black bears, 6.6% is suitable for cougars, and 14% is suitable for wolves. It is very likely, though, that these species will continue to travel through the state. Surveys have shown that Illinois residents tend to be positive about the return of these species while expressing concern about the close contact with them. Education about these large predators will be ongoing with Illinois residents to dispel myths. Being prepared for the presence of these species can help protect them while allowing citizens to protect themselves and their animals.